bartender Benjamin III for our next installment of the great demonstration of one of the cocktails on our cocktail kits. The classy, classic Manhattan. Why? Because we aren't wasting your time on dodgy things like cheap whiskey and horrid sweet vermouth. If you're going to get smashed, get smashed the classy way. See? We begin our journey with a fine rye whiskey up to the Isle of Woodby, or as you Yankees call it, Woodby Island. Now this whiskey spends four years in American oak barrels, right on the shore, expanding and contracting with that salty, briny air. It spends another 12 months in French oak, ruby, port barrels straight from Portugal. One must wonder, how do these lads acquire such rare barrels? Some secrets are best left untold. Making for a jolly good time, you see? Two ounces to two and a half ounces. And if you don't have one of these thingamajiggers yet, or if ever, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, pop it! Now next up, an excellent sweet vermouth from Brovo Spirits, the Jammy. Made from bartenders, for bartenders, and now for you lads and lassies at home. We're gonna do a solid sploosh, three quarters of an ounce to an ounce. Sploosh. And last but not least, the reigning king of all kings, the champion of the world, Angostura Bitters. Three to four count. Going to get this prepped and ready. We'll be using chukka cherries from east of the Cascades, located in Prosa. Take the stem off. Nestle is right there. It is more than excited to be drowned in delicious booze. Now some may wonder why I didn't add ice before adding all the ingredients. I like to visualize, see measurements. And surely, there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to crack an egg. What six to one is a half dozen to another? Surely, there's more than one way to build a Manhattan. Fill the rest up with ice. Last but not least, cocktail spoon. Do you need a spoon? We can provide one of these amazing spoons for only five pounds. I mean, five dollars. Human ingenuity at its best. The swivel provides the most excellent stir. Do you hear that? It's the sound of ice drowning in booze. No clanking of the spoon to the glass. Ready. Do you have a strainer? It's quite all right. Take another pint glass or whatever glass you have, stick it in the other way. For our final pour, whoops. One got away, didn't it? And last but not least, cheers.